Reef corals belong to the class Anthosa. From Latin, this name translates to mean flower animals, as corals were originally thought to be plants. Fossil records of corals date back more than 550 million years. Like canaries down a mine shaft, corals are harbingers of an uncertain future. With their resemblance to the animal brain, the brain coral's form suggests a sensate, knowing and sensitive life form. Flower animals is another work in the specimen series which considers the effects of human activity on ourselves and other species and the environment. This work points to the confusing information flows surrounding climate change and environmental management. Coral reefs around the world are in decline, largely due to the impacts of human activities and global warming. We've used representations of brain corals and flower animals because they're a reef building species and they're emblematic of coral reef systems and their biodiversity. And like a human city or apartment block, coral too is not created by a single organism. Each piece and the massive reef structures themselves are formed by millions of polyps which build limestone cocoons for protection. In 2007, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warned that Australia's Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest reef, would be functionally extinct within decades, with coral bleaching becoming an annual event within 20 years. In Flower Animals, we are collecting real-time temperature data from the Great Barrier Reef Ocean Observing System project, which is part of the Australian Integrated Marine Observing System, a project run by the Australasian Institute of Marine Sciences on behalf of a consortium of universities and research agencies. We're using this data to generate the patterns of illumination which you see in the work. As the temperature change, the colour of the coral swings across a spectrum of cool to warm shades. At other times, flower animals pulses, like a warning signal alerting us to the threats facing the Great Barrier Reef. Climate modelling indicates that a sea temperature increase of between 2 and 6 degrees Celsius is enough to threaten the health of a reef. Whilst temperature change is the most common trigger for coral bleaching, reefs are also impacted by starvation, sedimentation, tides, salinity and other changes in the marine environment. With the Great Barrier Reef featuring in lists of places to see before it's too late, there's a clear sense of imminent demise. Consequently, it's not that difficult to comprehend that the Great Barrier Reef is facing threshold events in rapidly changing conditions and probably dying. When the corals are bright white, or bleached, this indicates temperatures that exceed those that tropical corals are able to tolerate over sustained periods. The coral sculptures also blush with colour and emit sounds when people approach. The sounds were inspired by the auditory environments of healthy, thriving reef systems. <laughs> 